Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos' space company, delaying its first mission in more than a year. The company running into an issue with a ground system at the launch site. It, it does say it's hoping to do the launch later this week. This was to be an unmanned trip um, to the edge of space here with some research and scientific uh, experiments on the new Shepard vehicle. There weren't going to be any people on right. board. Um, but nonetheless, you know, after it's already been grounded for 15 months, there were a lot of hopes riding on this, and we'll see how quickly they can get back in the air. Yeah, and, and while Bezos has been grounded, by the way, of course, you have rivals, you got Virgin Galactic, Sir Richard Branson's company, right? They've been kind of flying commercial flights. I think those tickets run something like two hundred to $450,000. Yeah, a few minutes bit, of weightlessness, no nice view of the earth. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> exactly. But from what I understand, this isn't unusual, right? I mean, you can right. have these kind of delays. And, and, and from what I've been reading, this is really, this most likely has to do with, it sounds like the launch pad, not the rocket itself. So it sounds like, it sounds like the company is suggesting they can be up, up, and away pretty quickly. Right, exactly. And then, of course, you got SpaceX that you can throw in there, too, although they have not done commercial space flights in the same um in the same way, they have been focused more on service and research uh, kinds of situations there. So, but it is interesting because people love to see rockets blast off. <laughs> and that's a good reason. I mean, it, uh, you that's know, that's you're not excited about honest. the prospect of space tourism. Not personally, but sure, I'll I'll watch them a rocket blast off. <laughs> what's you're not, right for what's, a far. That's what's not, fair. What's not to like about that? <laughs>